Hi, this is Dana. I have a scene here uh, where I set up a camera. I just kind of, it's a scene with multiple camera shots, so I just kind of flew the camera around to the different locations for the different shots. Uh, and now I want to break this out into individual cameras. And uh, to do that, I decided to use LScript Commander to kind of simplify the process. Now the camera isn't quite exactly in the position where I exactly want it to be, so just kind of ignore the framing and stuff. But um, LScript Commander, you can find that under Utilities and LS Commander. This lets you build um, LScripts for yourself. You can see I already have a list of things that I've done. Basically, when you open this up for the first time after opening Lightwave, this events section here will be clear. There will be nothing in it. And say, what are the steps I want to go go through? Okay, I want to clone a camera. I want to clone the camera, so Control C. Control C helps if I'm on the right window. Number of clones, one. And you'll see, hey, clone one. That's the first command I want to copy, so I'll just drag that up to my window. Clone one. Okay, now what do I want to do? I want to rename it. So let me go to items, rename, and let's say rename this camera D. I think I'm up to D. And then, hey, look, down here, rename camera D. Okay, what's the next step of the thing I want to do? I want to delete. I'm going to create a keyframe on frame zero. So let me create a keyframe on frame zero. Okay, and I added it to the list. Drag that up to the window. Create key. Now what I want to I want to delete the extra key. So to do that, I'm going to go to Utilities, Additional, Motify, which is Motify, Delete, Motion, Keys. And I'm going to, let's see, Protect Frame 0 I want to have listed and delete keys outside of range and this will set the range for my frame numbers and it's the one number and that's fine so hit OK and let's see what did it do? Oh, it just had generic modify. This will actually stop and you'll have to type that in manually and now let's go back to my first camera so camera and then shift arrow key or I'll just click on the button here go to the next key Okay, so that dropped in uh, select item and next key. And there's our little script. So now let's say the next one I want to do is camera F. I hit camera F and then I hit execute. And just set this to outside range. And boom, and there we go. We have camera D set up, or camera F set up. Now we're on camera G. Obviously, with a little bit of extra work, you could uh, do something. You could you could make it so this pops up a requester and types in the name. But I really don't know L scripts and programming, so this is why this is so cool because you don't have to know L script and programming in order to make simple tasks like this even simpler. So there we go. Outside range, okay. And let's see where are we at now with our cameras. So we have camera G, F, D, there you go. That's how you make use of LightWave's LScript functionality without actually knowing LScript. Thanks, I hope this has been useful. Oh, by the way, if you liked this video and other videos about how to use LightWave and other graphics programs, subscribe to this channel. And also check out my full-length tutorials on liberty3d.com as well as all of the other uh, tutorials by all the other artists over there. So uh, thanks and have a great day.